Head's a little awkward. I'm gonna keep it around the draw. Hmm. I'm gonna play Wood for Hells and get green red. I could agree with this, but I need my white source, so I kind of want this to get white. Both these can get white. Maybe I should play just smaller March, just in case I want to like play a fire impulse if I draw one. And then we can get. Planes, yeah, I think we're just gonna play with smaller marsh turn one. So I'm just gonna play this stem protector, I think. You just like need to get things on the board. doesn't have fetch land here. He doesn't have one. If he doesn't have a fetch land, I feel pretty good about this game. And we're just going to take four from this guy. Or three, whatever he wants to do, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, it's gonna be a pre anemic <laughs> turn right here. Maybe we can just play three siege rhinos. Though two siege rhinos are gonna be enough. If he, yeah, so he's burning that guy. We're gonna have to block here. We'll take seven. Go down to. We're getting we're gonna attack, <laughs> Travis. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna block this guy. And hopefully our parade of rhinos. We could play Nissa and Tasker in the same turn. Actually, that seems pretty good. Yeah, I think I like that better. Now we're getting another green suffers off of this, so maybe I just want to get Smoldering Marsh. Is that wrong? No, we can't play Tasker and this at the same time. We can do that next turn. Alright. I mean, 
if the Vegas Invitational like qualified for the Pro Tour, I'd feel good about going. But since it doesn't really qualify me, it's a lot of money. Maybe wait, am I queue for the Pro? Am I queue for that or? I hope you don't die to the comments here. You make me incredibly upset, but I feel like that's what's happening. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna block. If he has become immense, we're dead. If he has team or bower rage. We put this. Four. Yeah, six. So I think I'm just gonna block here. Not sure. Yeah. I feel like we just dead though. Two, four, six, gonna have a seven. He has nothing. Six, nine, eleven. No, that, no, it's not, that's not, um, that one doesn't kill you. I feel like we're just really dead. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. All right, so we're gonna play Tasker and Ryan on the same turn. I hope. I just want to make sure I don't put myself down on board if I do that. So we gain three, go up to six. Well, so we know we go to, go up to five. Yeah. And I think this is just gonna get us green white. So what we got? What do you got? All right. Well, if he's not attacking us, like he probably didn't draw. Um, the comments. If he's taking this long, or he could just like be picking his nose and like watching TV. So that's the joys of Magic Online. <laughs> Not knowing. Alright. I like that. So if we play C Dry and we shove, he has to block.
so that's a that's a line, Angus. It puts him the most most body on the table, but I don't know if that's like the best plan. We could do that. We could play Siege Rhino and attack, because then he has to block. But then he probably just blocks with Yeah, but if he has like team or battle rage. Yeah, attacking first is probably better. So we can either go with like the like so if we attack he probably blocks with the Zergo. And he takes four, goes down to seven. And then we can do and then we can present two more blockers for his dudes. Or we can play another siege rhino. Present another blocker. He didn't attack this turn with the option of like like of using Zergo. The only thing I really don't like hit if we if he has a Tarkus command though. Okay, so he blocks with Abbott because he can't block with Zergo. You're right, Angus. Um, so he blocks with Abbott. He takes four, go down to seven. We play a second Rhino. He has a Tarkus command. We go down to two against two lethal attackers. It's really bad. Is there any way we can play around become immense though? Can we play this Nissa Den Protector? So we attack with Siege Rhino, play Nissa Den Protector with Tassigar. So we have three blockers. That is true. That's a pretty good line, Travis. The problem with the Nissa Den Protector line is I just don't think it pressures him enough. I think if he had a Targus command, he would have played it that turn because he would have killed us. We were at five. He dashes. Yeah, he would have killed us if we, if he had a Targus command. So he doesn't have a Targus command. He doesn't have a comments. Um, he doesn't have Titan strength. He might have. He could have Wild Slash. You could have Wild Slash. Because then we just block the two Abbots and then he just brings us to one and then we kill him pretty much next turn. Yeah, it's definitely one of those three. So we should just try and play around Wild Slash the best. So if we attack with both, and he blocks with the Abbot here, it takes four, we play the Siege Rhino, we go to eight, and then we, he has these two guys. I think just attacking with the Rhino is good. Attack it with both, and if he doesn't block, like. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna attack with both.
It's pretty good. I'm into it. It's like, we like came up with the line originally and then we like tanked for like 15 minutes. And they're like, yeah, let's just do the first line. And we just went easily. Like he just, our opponent like, <laughs> we tried so hard. And like, <laughs> whatever. Um, I like the Duress. Uh, I don't really like Dragon Master Outcast. It's a lot of whole mana, one mana, one one. Um, Tasker's probably fine. Crackling Doom is probably not the greatest. Neither is Absent Charm. I kind of want to cut these for some ultimate prices, and I think I want Languish. It might be a little too slow. Yeah, we like tank for so hard. It couldn't have been like sea dry. It couldn't have been that easy. <laughs> we could have been so stupid to do the obvious one. Yeah, exactly. He's like, "There's no way." <laughs> we got him. We got him. Alright, not this thing. Um, dude, Rhinos is a thinking man's card. For, do you think Jace is a thinking man's card? No, Rhino is the thinking man's card. Really, Elvish Visionary is the thinking man's card. Um... Maybe I'm undervaluing how important Abs and Charm is in this matchup. It's a little bit different now because they like the comments and like all this crazy stuff. I think we want languages. I think him going wide is like the easiest way we lose the game. I don't know if Absent Charm... Absent Charm is probably better than Crackling Doom, actually. Because we don't care about the damage. We want to fetch green early anyway. Yeah, let's roll. We just have so many four fives. How can we lose? I'm gonna keep this hand. Um, I'm confident Elvis Visionary can buy us some time and draw some land, then we can kind of clean up his stuff with like Colgan's Command and Languish. As long as he have like a doesn't have a McKinney draw. Dude, Elvis Regeneration is so good. It's so good. <laughs> Emoga to four? Jesus Christ. Um, I think we're going to go green, white, land, swamp, and then... We want double black. Hmm. Hmm. We want double black, and we want our red and black source to be... I think it's just kind of hard to cast. So maybe you want to go... Swamp. Uh, why don't we have black white land? So maybe we have to go... F this gets green white. And this gets swamp. It's so hard to cast abs in Charm and Colgon's command. <laughs> Visionary is insane. It's just awesome. He just like does so much for so little. He asked. Visionary asked nothing of you. <laughs> he asked nothing. Okay.
Yeah, green. So you like green, white, black, red? Yeah, I'm in. Our Paul Mulgan to four, by the way. So this call against command is gonna be absolutely crushing. I got so many bloodstained Myers. But we got white. Let's see, so... Yeah, we're just gonna take one. The sofa, interesting. Alright, so I think we're just gonna call against command this thing. That's gonna feel pretty good. I'm just gonna get Mountain here. I don't want to get hit with a lightning berserker, so I don't think we're gonna like gonna win with like it's like our win condition not gonna be with damage. So like if he plays lightning berserker here, I really won't be able to block. You're just gonna take it again. Run the attack, no attacks, no blocks, but what are you gonna do? So I think we're just gonna... I think this turn we're gonna block and then afterwards we're gonna call a guns command. I guess we just block and then, yeah, so we block first. I guess we could just languish. Uh, that leaves us kind of open to him drawing, like, the comments or something. So now we'll play Nissa with Fiery Impulse up. That seems good. And we'll just probably pop this guy off now. I'm gonna take it here. I don't I like I just don't be left with like just the Abzan charm.
And we're not blocking the Zergo this turn anyway. So let's have Absent Charm in case anything really goes really weird. Maybe he tries to become instant or something. I'm not blocking with the Nissa anyway. I just kind of want to make a 4 4. Maybe I should, I should have attacked first. I'm just going to make a 4 4 here. 